Sorry. Oh, you lost your friend. Oh, sorry. You don't have what to eat. Oh, sorry. We shall pray for you. God will do it. Sympathy. Sympathy. They will go and eat at their home and they will pray for you. You starve. Well, have you been, ever been there and uh, maybe you see a certain group of people are trying to pass through a tough circumstance. Maybe someone is so ill, some people have been involved in an accident, uh, there is a building that has caught fire and you see people, strangers, do cry, cry because of the circumstance. Cry because of the condition. Cry, cry because of the situation that is just going on. Have you witnessed people cry for people they have no idea about, for people they have never met, for people they have never talked to, for people they have never seen before? If there is a scientific explanation for this, Someone put it in a comment below. I would like to learn also this science, if it's there. But I want to talk about one thing. What makes us develop that strong feeling of empathy? Okay. What makes us develop empathy? What makes us make People's problems, a stranger, someone whom you have never seen, someone whom you have never interacted with before, his problem becomes part of your problem immediately. That is perfect love that is talked to in the Bible. I will read for you John chapter 15 verses 13. John 15 13 says, Greater love has no man than this, that a man lays his life for his friend. Empathy is what I'm talking about today. Making other people's problem part of your problem. That strong feeling that you have no control over. You see someone being hunted by a group of people with pangas and because you see death, in the person that is going to be killed innocently, you sacrifice your life. You go in there, you don't mind about what will happen, whether they kill you or not, you don't care. You will see people drowning in water. People drowning in water. You sacrifice yourself and dive there to save a life. In the process, you can even die from there. That's what we call empathy. The feeling that you even have no control over. The feeling that catches you and you don't think about what will happen after. What might happen? Where am I? Am I risking my life or not? It doesn't give you a chance to have a second thought. That's why you see people cry just because they have seen others cry. They will develop that feeling within them and they begin crying for a disease that they have no idea about, for a disease that they have never seen, for a disease that has never helped them before. That's what we call empathy. I mean, friendship has nothing to do with you have met people for a long time or people have helped you or not. If you are doing something because people have helped you before, if you are responding in a good way because people responded to you in a good way before, if you are, you are helping people because people helped you before, you are just sympathizing with them. This is not true. And it won't last because you are paying back. 
Empathy is something that is original. Empathy is something that you start on your own. You do not have any basis. You don't see what other people did for you before, but you start it. You start empathy with you. The feeling will catch you and that's what we call true love. You do anything for the person you have empathy for. You just do anything. John chapter 4 verses 18. First John chapter 4 verses 18. There is no fear in love. But perfect love casts out fear, because fear has no torment. He that fears is not made perfect in love. They are not true. People giving it a second thought and saying, Oh, but what will happen? If I get married to him, will he really manage to provide? Will he really manage to build for me a good house? Will he really manage to buy the other car he promised? That is sympathy. It's not true. People who have been interconnected by empathy, people who have been linked by empathy, their goal is to be together. And once that is achieved, any other thing becomes a walkover. Because their mind, their souls are connected. They, will, they think, everyone thinks I can't be there for my friend in whatever condition, with no conditions attached. When my friend is sick, I never feel well also until I see my friend smiling. That's what we call empathy. That's true love. And once you get a person with empathy, stick there. They are difficult to find. It's not easy because a lot of people will say, Sorry, oh, you lost your friend. Oh, sorry. You don't have what to eat. Oh, sorry. We shall pray for you. God will do it. Sympathy. Sympathy. They will go and eat at their home and they will pray for you. You starve. That's sympathy. You don't have true friends. You are not in a true relationship. Empathy will drive people to pick you on the roadside. And they say, let's first go to the restaurant and we eat, then you'll go at your home. Because they already, they have already taken the, your problem to be part of their problem. That's what we call empathy. Once you get someone with empathy, never give it a second thought because they are rare to find. They are difficult to find once you lose them. Empathy. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's empathy that God had for us. He made our problem to be part of his problem. He sacrificed, sent his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's true love. And that's God's love. Well, thank you so much for listening. A very good morning and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.